I work at Inverus Minerals as an energy engineer and looking into um, all of the different energy usages in the company and trying to reduce those as much as possible, trying to minimise energy usage, um, what sort of things we can do to do that and also do some um, project work. Well, after I'd done my GCSEs, I decided I wanted to be a doctor. So um, my A-levels were all geared around that. I did chemistry, biology, physics and maths. And I did a week's work experience in hospital and decided it wasn't for me. So I looked into another practical application for my A-levels and found that engineering was the way to do that. So I did a four-year engineering course at Sheffield Uni. Um, got a master's and did some work experience while I was there. I was sponsored through uni. Did two summers working in a brick factory and one summer working for Inverness in Cornwall. And then as I finished my degree, I applied for a job at Inverness and have worked here as an energy engineer ever since. I don't think I really do have any typical day at work. It can be anything from working on site, getting really, really filthy in all of, in all of the clay, trying to get to different valves and burners and things, to a day based in the office looking at new projects and um, energy monitoring and management. Um, well, the advantages are the diversity of, of where you work and who you work with because it can be anything from working on site with all of the local operators to doing presentations for senior management and that's just brilliant being able to or having the opportunity to communicate with sort of like all levels throughout the company and um, the actual people that I work with are fantastic. It's really great to be able to use sort of like problem solving techniques and on a day to day basis and be able to use your brain to do all sorts of different things. Um, disadvantages, I don't think there are any that are particular to this job. Um, getting up early in the morning is never good but that's going to be the same for any job. Well there's, um, there's lots of different ones because I'm doing the graduate training scheme it's a lot of management skills are involved in that so I could either go into some sort of project engineering with an Imeris or I could use those skills and go into management in any sector it doesn't have to be engineering. Well lots of my friends that were on the university course with me have gone to work um, abroad there's quite a few that have gone to Australia and Canada um, I think there's one in New Zealand and places, so there are overseas opportunities available to people as well. Well, we've started off um, in my first year doing sort of like basic management training schools, we've done um, presentation skills and sort of like basic IT training. We also had a weekend away on Dartmoor with the TA um, doing sort of like team building exercises with them. We had um, 
to run around on Dartmoor going through all of the tunnels and, um, and do that. We had or went up in a helicopter doing navigation skills and it was just really good to sort of like get to know the people you're working with that bit better being put in those sort of situations. We've done a lot of um, team building and leadership skills and tried to put those into practice as well with um, motivation and delegation coming along this year too. Um, well we do sort of basic health and safety training, everything from um, being able to lock out electrical equipment, working safely at heights in confined spaces, um, to the IOSH managing safely which looks at safety from um, the point of view of a manager and what you can actually do to make your employees safer at work and where all of the um, regulations and everything come in and what you have to do to do with those. We also get lots of training with developing technologies and keeping up to date with those. Well there's um, a greater need to monitor all of the processes for the energy use and actually pin down where we're using all of, those, all of that energy and how it can be reduced in various different ways and there's teams set up on each of our sites now specifically looking at energy usage and what can be done to reduce it through process changes and things. And the other um, one would be through automation of the plant. One of the, the big plants that we're designing now is a lot more automated than any of our older plants. Um, to do as much maths and physics as they possibly can because they're useful in every aspect of, of engineering and also to get as many qualifications as you possibly can.